In this tutorial, we're going to learn a very quick and easy way to make drum racks and simplers in any other device like an instrument rack velocity sensitive. So I write all my percussion in drum racks. I absolutely love them. They're an amazingly powerful drum sampler, but they have one flaw that pisses me off. So I just have a basic drum rack loaded up. I've got a kick drum sample in here. And by default, the simpler that the kick drum is loaded into is not velocity sensitive. If we go to our MIDI clip here, you'll see we have a 4-4 kick drawn in and we have velocity down here. Normally what you'd expect is if you adjusted the velocity, the notes would get quieter and louder. But as you can see, this isn't the case. Everything plays at the same volume. Now, when you're playing drums live on a MIDI controller, or you just want to make edits to humanize your drum pattern, it's very important that you do have velocity sensitivity. So the way you do it is by going back to your drum rack, double clicking to reveal the simpler, and you have a parameter right here called velocity to volume. And when you drag that up, now this simpler will be velocity sensitive. So you can see here, now all of a sudden we're getting clipping on the last note because it's really loud and the first note is quiet. Now, the problem occurs in the case that what if we have, for example, a whole bunch of percussion like this? So we're going to drag in a whole bunch of kick samples. Now, what do you do? Do you go in here and manually click and adjust every single one? No. Um, that's how I used to do it because I didn't know a better way existed, but I just recently found a little feature in the program that makes this a lot easier. So all you do is you take one of these and you drag the velocity volume percentage to 100, and then you right or control click on it, and you go to copy value to siblings. And you can see it's selected 22 or 23 here. So you simply click that, and what that means is every single other simpler here containing a percussion sample now has its velocity to volume parameter at 100%. This also works for any other parameter here in the simpler. So say, for example, we wanted to turn the spread up. We just go like that. We right click, we go copy to siblings, and now you'll see the spread is at 47% on all the other simplers. This saves an incredible amount of time, and I'm doing this now with all my drum racks. So I wanted to share that tip with you guys. This also applies to simplers that are loaded up into instrument racks as well, so it's not just confined to drum racks. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. That's my tip and trick for today. Talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you.